Hey, what's up guys, Rajat sir from World of VFX. Today you guys will learn how to enable this Nanite tessellation, the newly launched update in Unreal Engine 5.4 and look at this amazing displacement effect and this is completely done in Unreal Engine 5.4. So today you will learn this method and now let's get started. So first of all, we are in Unreal Engine 5.4 as you can see, this is our final output. So let me show you how it exactly looks like in the Nanite mode so just go to nanite visualization and make it to triangles so that you can see all the nanite triangles right in front of your screen and look at this all the details are really amazing all right so let's recreate it so first of all i'm just making a new level empty level and press create so first of all you need to create the environment so go to windows light and mixer environment light and mixer and create all these settings go down and you can find this option called volumetric fog simply check this on and now close okay after that we need to create our materials so just right click new folder and name it to material enter right click and you can find this material and name it to material one and enter so this is our very basic base material now before moving forward you need to do some very basic changes so this is your contained like nanite tessellation configuration where you can find this option called default engine just double click and now you can see these two lines i have highlighted and by the way i just pasted these two lines in my description box below you can go and copy and make sure you have to paste this after here and now you can close it and restart your unreal engine now once you restart your unreal engine you need to check one plugin as well so go to plugin section and need to type nanite and you can find this option called nanite displaced mesh simply check this on and restart once again now you are all good to go after doing these two methods you need to come to this material palette simply select this material and you need to type over here nanite and you can find this option called en enable tessellation and use nanite simply check these two and you can find this displacement option newly updated over here all right now let's minimize this and now let's import one material right from quicksell bridge so if you don't have you can directly go to this quicksell bridge and i have already downloaded few all these materials so you can see this so let's import this one and just simply press add once you import it will directly come to your mega scan so if you just go to the surface you can find these materials right after here so this material i will use for this tessellation now simply go to this material palette and simply select all these three materials drag and drop into this browser now you have these three textures over here so this for the first one is all about the base color simply connect to this base color now this is the texture samples this is basically a normal map simply connect with this normal map so now you can see the model is start updating and now this is the most important part you have these three options red green and blue so first of all connect this red one to this ambient occlusion so that you can get some kind of you know contract shadow then there's a green option this should connect to this roughness and the last option is the blue connect to this displacement map once you connect you are now all set to go now simply close this palette simply select this and you have to type over here nanite and now you can find these two options magnitude and center so let me show you what exactly will happen once you use this default values now simply press apply over here and now simply close this now you need a landscape go to landscape and make all like default and then press create and now i'll just create some very basic level of terrain so that i can see the displacement so just make a very normal kind of a terrace and now just make selection and now i need to turn on nanite mode here as well simply select the landscape and type nanite and you can find this enable nanite simply select this and build data so it will build the entire landscape for the nanite tessellation now you can see this type of a creepy shadow over here don't worry it's all normal now once you create your materials simply select this material and simply go down you can find this landscape material simply drag and drop into this here and boom you can see this amazing displacement right in front of your screen now if you notice this is too much displaced over here so now what i'll do i'll just double click in this material and i'll just moving it a little bit here and need to type over here in nanite and now you can decrease the magnitude so let's 0.5 and apply now once you apply it will automatically apply like this now if you notice this displacement is start decreasing but if you notice this is too much repeating texture so now you need to adjust the uv map coordinates so what you need to do simply tap and then type 
texture and then coordinates and you can find this option simply select now this will basically helps you to coordinate all the textures now simply select this texture coordinate and you can find this option u tiling and z tiling simply decrease it to 0.3 by 0.3 and now connect all this with our all the uv maps so simply just connect with this uvs and now once you've done press apply and now you can see all the repeating textures are gone and this is your displacement now simply press save and now you can close this now let me show you how you can use hdri and create some realistic lighting effect in front of your screen now simply type over here like hdri so hdri and this is my hdri ground now simply click here light and make hdri backdrop so now this will basically help you to create some realistic light effect to interact with our nanite tessellation option now simply move this down under this and now increase the shape to somewhere around 2000 and increase the intensity to 3 and now if we notice it start already reflecting but still it's not looks that much real so what i'll do i'll just go down environmental dome and simply type sky and simply this sky sphere texture so now this will basically create a dome effect in front of you now we need to replace the sky so i'm just drag and drop our new hdri with this now simply turn off this and now if you notice uh, that hdri start adding light over here now we use a post process volume so simply click here and type post process and you can find this post process volume click here and type infinite and simply turn this on and now close this and just go down exposure should turn on and decrease the exposure so that you can see the real lighting effect now simply turn on your directional light and now let's change the directions of this light so that you can see some realistic effect over here and now if you notice this displacement is not a fake displacement this is exactly real so now if you want to check go to lit nanite and make sure triangle so that you can see all the triangles right in front of you so guys hopefully really enjoyed this amazing tutorial from world of vfx based on nanite tessellation inside of unreal engine 5.4 and for more amazing this type of tutorials, make sure you need to subscribe and make sure you need to follow us on our social media handles. See you soon in our next video. Till then, keep watching, keep rocking, World of VFX.